Hello and welcome back to Iowa. It's time for more racing from the Hooters Nationwide Series. This race with three races left to go, just like the Truck Series. And we once again, we commend the actions that we've seen out of these drivers in this chase so far. I have no clue what I'm trying to say. On the pole, we have John Wilson. And alongside is Mary Shelley, Seth Cole. And Alex Hawkins make up row number two, and it's Jake Davis and one of our top three in points and our title hopefuls here, Preston Plored, in sixth. Jessica Shelton, the points leader, runs seventh, or will start seventh alongside Joe Davis. And Dylan Young, the third guy out of those three, is starting ninth. He'll start alongside Trevor Meacham. As we go through the rest of the starting grid, I'll talk about the points. So the top three coming in, the only drivers within a race of each other, essentially for the top spot in points. And those have been the dominant cars of the entire chase. Well, actually, Matt Dixon's within a race, too. But, I mean, upon starting, that pretty much goes away. Or at least with one guy falling out. But those are the three main people. Uh, Matt Dixon, 146 points back. Here's the command to give the... Drivers, yeah. start your engines! Okay, there we go. Katie Elizabeth, fifth in points. Troy King, set, uh, sixth. P.J. Williams, 7th. Bram Patterson, 8th. Seth Cole, 9th. Mo Malkari, 10th. Alex May, Drew Austin, the top 12. Um, magic number leaving here today will be 296. There's a couple drivers already outside of the 296 mark. Those being Alex May and Drew Austin. Uh, Mo Malkari, Seth Cole desperately need to beat the 42 here today. They are 242 and 244 points back, respectfully. Um, we'll have to see how that plays out. There's Alex May. So the pace car pulls off. 25 laps in store here from Iowa. And we are green. John Wilson leads us off into turn number one. And look at this already. This is crazy. Alex Hawkins, Mary Shelley, Jessica Shelton, lag is real. Jake Davis, huge wreck. Oh, Gabe Williams. Jake Davis on his lid. Oh, my gosh. Well, that one did not take long. You know, she's involved, but Jessica's car does not look all that, well, beat up. That could be a very lucky break for the 42. Gabe Williams in it. PJ Williams' car is destroyed. Mary Shelley. Preston Plored with damage in the one, both sides of his car. Dylan Young, what about him? No, his car looks good. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened. Well, this was just a crazy start to the beginning of this race. Alex Hawkins being way too aggressive, way too early. Oh, and here's going to be where... That's where Preston Plore gets the damage on his car. A lot of damage, actually, there to the one. Dylan Young just barely getting by. Gabe Williams, unfortunately, not going to be so lucky. Matt Dixon right in there. He's going to get peace. Maxwell Chan's the one that just puts the 35 up on his roof. There's William Duncan. Oh, my. Drew Austin in it. Um, that's going to end his chase hopes. Bram Patterson and Kyle Matthews getting involved. As a part of, like, just trying to avoid it, they get into each other. Actually, Kyle Matthews gets into the 35. I saw Brennan Berg get turned around, or at least one of the Fitz Bradshaw cars. I think it was Berg. I mean, it was one of the Janikin cars. I, Yeah, it was. Brennan Berg getting turned by Marcus Bruno in the back. And then... Probably the luckiest driver. I don't... 
Let's see. Look at this. Going to get a little bit of damage from the 83 there. But locks him down. My flat spot him. Who knows? And only minor taps. A minor tap to the inside wall there. And just able to drive through everything right there. I mean, unfortunate brick to be involved in it. But great job at missing what could have been horrendous for Jessica Shelton. And we are back. There you see the drivers out of the race. There are Mary Shelley, Jake Davis, Maxwell Chan, Drew Austin, Kyle Matthews, PJ Williams, Ish Taylor, and Gabe Williams. That will officially end Drew Austin's chase hopes. And might have very well killed PJ Williams' chase hopes as well. He was 221 points back coming in. John Wilson is the leader. Then Seth Cole, Alex Hawkins, Preston Plore, Joe Davis, Dylan Young, Jake Bassinger, Trevor Meacham, Cassandra Renzi, Tom Gerard, Cosmic Nova, Mo Makari, Sky Commons, Amanda Shelley, Kenny Bale, Charles Sanford, Katie Elizabeth, Jeff James, Kyle Sosnowski, Alex May, Kyle Thomas, Max Newworth, Chris Luvier, Brennan Berg, Troy King, Jerry Shelley, Jessica Shelton, Brennan Patterson, Matt Dixon, Madison Williams, Marcus Bruno, Kyle Collins, William Duncan, and Chris Washer. How will the damaged cars do? How far off the pace will they be? Who knows? Green flag is out. Seth Cole caught sleeping. Oh boy, here we go. This is going to be the interesting spot, isn't it? Off of turn number two. Dylan Young gets by Joe Davis pretty quickly. Front of the field is clean. Oh boy. And those are the teammates there. The 09, the 1, the title fighters. No caution there as they came around. Looking around. For, oh, now the caution is out. And Preston Plore going for the top spot. Is he going to be able to even have it though? Because Jake Bassinger to the inside. Not going to be able to do it. Bassinger leads under the caution. Marcus Bruno. There was another spin. And Jessica Shelton gained a spot on the green flag run. So obviously car maybe not performing as well in traffic as they would like. But what happened with Marcus Bruno on the front straightaway and what was the spin on the back stretch? Well, a pretty simple thing here compared to the first caution. Kyle Collins just pushed up the track and gives Bruno no room. And it spins the 30 around. That enough to bring out the caution, though. I think probably what ended up happening is William Duncan maybe goes around on the back straightaway. Nope, never mind. They already spun. Wow. Wow. Matt Dixon I saw with a wicked save. His car was sideways. After he hit Max Newworth, I think Newworth might have been the culprit here. Oh, maybe not. He just bounced off some cars, but Jeff James pushes up the track into Sky Commons. And Sky Commons having none of it, just uh, kind of nowhere to go, really. I mean, he couldn't do much, but turns around the 99. That forces Newark to have to check up a lot. And Chris Louvier went to the, like the very inside of the track on the apron going into turn three. That kind of explains where some of these things were coming from. We're uh, trying to gain spots. But dang, that one pretty hectic coming off turn number four there because of the spin by Jeff James. Let's go back to the green flag. And we are back. No new retirees underneath the caution. So Jake Bassinger is still our leader. No lap cars, though. That's a good thing. Preston Plourd is second. Dylan Young third. Alex Hawkins, John Wilson, Tom Gerard, Seth Cole, Joe Davis, Cassandra Renzi, Momo Akari, Trevor Meacham, Kenny Bale, Charles Sanford, Cosmic Nova, Amanda Shelley, Katie Elizabeth, Kyle Sosnowski, Kyle Thomas, Jerry Shelley, Chris Luvier, the top 20, Brian Patterson, Sky Commons, Max Newworth, 
then Jessica Shelton, Matt Dixon, Troy King, Madison Williams, Brennan Berg, Kyle Collins, Jeff James, Marcus Bruno, Chris Washer, William Duncan, and Alex May. Pace car pulls off, field under control of the Home Depot Chevrolet of Jake Bassinger, and the green flag is back out. Florida able to actually stay with him a little bit better, but Dylan Young to the inside of his teammate here. These guys are title rivals here, even though they are teammates. Boy, they were banging down there on the back straightaway, weren't they? Preston Plourd getting shoved up way high. He's on the outside three wide now for third. He's back to fifth. And Dylan Young now going to get shoved up to the outside of a three wide. And, oh, Alex Hawkins, look out. Dylan Young, oh, boy, oh, around goes Hawkins. Oh, saving in. No, he's not. Seth Cole's in it. Oh, my God, this is hectic. This is not going to end well right here. Sanford into the wall. Amanda Shelley in the wall. Bruno Shelton with damage. William Duncan even more damage now. Oh, Brennan Berg. Jeff James involved. So more struggles for the 42 tonight. Kind of one of those days where she's going to probably be hoping for some struggles to come upon the 1 and the 09. As nearly did happen. Washer's on pit road now with even more damage. His night probably done. Meacham involved. Let's go ahead and take a look back at what happened though. So just taking a look at what happened here. Alex Hawkins just... Uh, it looks like his car may be just a little bit too tight here. Especially in turns 1 and 2. Gets a turn around. Gets it saved by Dylan Young. Then down the track into Seth Cole. And unfortunately for Seth, just nothing he could have done there. Pounds the inside wall. And, whoa, Jeff James comes slant. Wow! And just like his teammate, Seth Cole goes flipping. What happened with Jeff James? Oh, wow. So Jessica Shelton also pushing up the track into Sky Commons. A separate incident here as well. And there's the contact. There's Jeff James. Oh, Matt Dixon. There he is getting into the wall. Marcus Bruno, Brennan Berg. There's Alex May getting involved. Oh, Washer and Duncan nowhere to go. And Shelton just having to drive through it. Okay, so an interesting chain of events there. We're going to have less than 10 laps to go when we get the green flag. Let's go to the restart. Jeff James, William Duncan, Seth Cole, Brennan Berg, Chris Washer. Retirees underneath the caution. Leaving us with 29 cars on the track. Jake Bassinger is the leader. Then John Wilson, Dylan Young, Cassandra Renzi, Joe Davis, Preston Plourd, Tom Gerard. Trevor Meacham, Momo Akari, Kenny Bale, Kyle Thomas, Cosmic Nova, Charles Sanford, Jerry Shelley, Brennan Patterson, Katie Elizabeth, Kyle Sosnowski, Amanda Shelley, Chris Louvier, Troy King, Sky Commons, Madison Williams, Max Newworth, Kyle Collins, Marcus Bruno, Alex Hawkins, Matt Dixon, Jessica Shelton, and Alex May. The lead lap car has been a rough night for our points leader. Can she still rebound or will there be even more troubles upcoming for the 09 and the 1 to maybe... Keep her in the title fight or in the championship lead, I should say. Who knows? Green flag is out. Eight laps to go here from Iowa. Dylan Young with a poor restart, I guess, if you want to call it that. Definitely the worst of the top three there. Joe Davis inside of Cassandra Renzi right now. That for fourth. Neither Plord or Dylan Young in danger here of losing a spot as the caution was out once again Alex Hawkins, Alex May, Marcus Bruno involved so man we cannot seem to get a green flag run going at all to save our lives let's go ahead and take a look at what happened boy I'm not sure how they thought four wide was going to work but they attempt it and the losers out of this Marcus Bruno Matt Dixon, maybe, I guess. Uh, but definitely Alex Hawkins, Marcus Bruno, and Alex May. 
as Alex May just comes running into this and doesn't make a big effort to try and avoid it, but oh well. But Jacob Assinger has had the dominant car tonight. He still leads here at Iowa. Well, just like with the truck race, we're going to have a three-lap shootout to try and end this one under green. Alex May, Alex Hawkins out of the race. Jake Massager is the leader. John Wilson, Dylan Young, Joe Davis, Cassandra Renzi, Preston Plord, Trevor Meacham, Momo Kari, Tom Gerard, Cosmic Nova, Kenny Bale, Kyle Thomas, Charles Sanford, Brent Patterson, Kyle Sosnowski, Katie Elizabeth, Jerry Shelley, Amanda Shelley, Chris Louvier, Troy King, Max Newworth, Kyle Collins, Madison Williams, Sky Commons, Jessica Shelton, Matt Dixon, and Marcus Bruno. I don't think we're going to end this one under green. I think we're going to have a green-white checker probably. I'm hoping I'm wrong though. Here we go. Green flag is out and wow, that one was really early compared to the other ones. Cassandra Renzi was going to try and take it to the outside. Joe Davis not able to get it to work. So as a result, Preston Plored to the inside of the eight. Dylan Young looking inside of John Wilson. But Joe Davis going to make it three wide for second. Oh, up into the wall with John Wilson. Oh boy, here we go. Three wide there. Plord slides up the track. Caution is out. So Plord sliding back. We have a new leader, and it's Joe Davis. Oh my gosh, look out. Now, who was involved? Hard to tell. It really is hard to tell. So what we're going to do is try and take a look at it. And meanwhile, also going to take a look or um, try and capture the results here. Mainly because I'm fearing having this ticker be wrong but we're not quite sure what yep there it is okay so top 27 actually going to be taking part in the green white checker let's try and take a look at what happened though to bring out the caution well it looks like this might have been what brought out the caution here to force the green white checkered and it's amanda shelley turning jerry shelley Yep, that is what brings out the caution. So, unfortunately, I didn't think that needed to be a caution. So, oh well, that does. And we'll have a green-white checkered finish here from Iowa. Field coming through, turns three and four. Joe Davis, Jake Bassinger leading us down for the green-white checkered. Two laps of action. No cautions will be thrown. Just two laps of crazy, hectic green flag racing here from Iowa. We are green. Baskinger gets the jump a little bit there and actually beats Davis to the line. He gives it back though before turn one, so all good. Oh my gosh. Oh, Mama Kari, Dylan Young's in it. Preston Plort involved. Shelton's going to get by, but going to lose precious time. They're still wrecking up here. Oh my, oh, wow. Troy King in the wall, hard. Joe Davis has gone away though. Preston Plort into the wall and he's around. Turned by Jake Bassinger. Oh, Newworth nearly turned him. Oh, and Shelton's coming up fast on Plort. Coming to the line, they're wrecking in front of Plort and it's wow. Joe Davis, though, does get the win. And that was hectic. Second win on the season for the 34. Lord's going to come home 12th. And Shelton comes home 16th. As I'm sure tempers will flare hereafter that. An amazing green-white checkered finish.
Not so much for the win, but just craziness ensuing there. And it allows Joe Davis to pretty much pull away with this one. And Jake Bassinger pretty much handed Jessica Shelton the points lead, leaving here at Iowa. Just incredible. What was this race again? I forget. Looking for something that sounds familiar on there. Uh, well, I might just have to look that up later. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. So, yeah. An amazing finish to the Reese's 300 here. Both races so far this weekend going to a green-white checkered. And I am just amazed at this one. Joe Davis, congrats to him. Top 10 today. Behind him, Kenny Bale, Cassandra Renzi. Trevor Meacham, Jake Bassinger, Charles Sanford, Tom Gerard, Brennan Patterson, John Wilson, Kyle Thomas. Patterson absolutely needed a run like that. He's actually going to gain precious, precious points. May not be able to contend for the title, but still get precious points that he needed to earn here. Shelton, 16th, going to hang on to the points lead for yet another race here. She's dominated the chase and has been leading it the entire way here. And with two races left to go after this, she is still the points leader. But probably, it's going to be by narrower mark. Well, actually, maybe not. Florida was 105 points coming in. It may still have actually expanded past the 88 points that it was coming in. Who knows? All I know is it was an awesome race. Sure is a wreck fest. But we'll have one more cup race. Then we have Talladega and Homestead. I am excited to get to see how this season ends, I'm going 15-1, and, and I'll see you next time.